You mentioned new material. One of the things that I always find interesting with artists that create music that stands pivotal in time is when they try to write new material. Do you find yourself creatively being challenged by what you did? Do you find yourself a little stressed? Or do you still keep, do you still retain that same organic creative integrity that made this music so timeless? That's an interesting question because I, I would have to say uh, a, a little bit of all of the above because I guess when we first started writing again, everybody kind of had a, yeah. you know, with the departure, you know, everybody kind of falls into. Like, Jem listens to a lot of country and western music. I'm, like, on my third death metal trip, uh, you know, blues young. Steve knows it. Kevin, uh, more of a rock and roll type dude, you know, in taste. It, I, I did find that getting back into that pure super joint groove was a bit of a challenge but now with a lot of practice with a lot of let's scrap this let's start from fucking a you know instead of j or you know you you know let's fucking uh let's let's start this whole thing over again let's get a good vibe for it and uh I'm feeling real damn good about it right now. The newer stuff, we've been listening to it every night, and I think it has all that integrity. Uh, the cocky lyrics need to come, um, but I, you know, I find myself listening and, and and placing. And when I'm placing, I'm thinking hooks, 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 hooks. So it is a process. At first, very awkward, perhaps, but I do think the integrity is in the music now. I think it sounds like I say, like the genuine article, which uh, created the super joint sound, uh, the feel, and the attitude. But attitude more than anything, you know. So I'm believing in it, totally believing in it, and and. and I think anyone that's a Super Joint fan will appreciate the fuck out of it. I think it's important to mention that Super Joint Ritual or Super Joint Now, for legal purposes, cool. is not a is not a super band. I used to hate when you were labeled that back in the day. I never did all that. That was all you experts. This is something that needs to be mentioned here. Whether you grew up during the tape trading season or or now with the downloading, okay. you are you are a music fan. I think the reason why the music that you created with Super Joint Ritual, amongst your other projects, is the fact that you are a music fan, being music comes first. You wake up, you have that relationship with music. When you have the gift to create, aside from the PR and the business angle and then all the fans, at the end of the day, you're by yourself. You go back to music. When you have that relationship and then you have the hunger to come back and create, it's got to be rewarding. Do you do you enjoy this second gift that you had with this project? Uh very much so. And I you you touched on it in little ways throughout that little tirade you just had, which I enjoyed very much. I wake up and the my first emotion aside from pain is applying music. And I think this uh, beginning of 2015, all I did was write, 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 write. And wherever that went, it went. Some of it went to a project that I wish I could tell you more about. You'll find out in due time. That's finished, and it's heavy as fuck. I did a lot of acoustic-based stuff. Wrote a lot of super joint stuff. Wrote a lot of illegal stuff, which is fucking horrible. It's like, oh, it's <laughs> maybe one of the <laughs> fastest, <laughs> most miserable things I've ever written. And, uh, man, and I know we got New Down to write, too, uh, coming up next year. So splitting bands and making sure that each band retains its own quality 
sound, and whatnot uh, is very important to me. Uh, there are times where it's like, okay, I can manipulate my voice in, in almost any subgenre that I feel like doing these days. But at the end of the day, you know, what's wrong with sounding like me? You know, so between the illegals and Super John, if there are similarities, so be it. I'm not going to sweat it that much. You know, there will be subtle differences, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, the brand is the brand and, 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 and whatnot. So, as you can see, I've got a lot of irons in the fire. I'm going to see them all fucking through. And then uh, <laughs> people can pick and choose what they hate, what they love, whatever, and that's the beauty of music. And then I'm going to move on and keep on doing what I got to do, you know, and, and that's make more music, man, because that's all I know how to do. And that's uh, it's a passion. It's a love. When, when we grow older with music, we have our own experiences of how it touched us. I mean, when I look at a Priest record now, I still remember when I first got it and, and the struggle to get it. Yeah. I want to just say this, especially for the kids that uh, are finding themselves in this generation and all the difficulties that come with it. Uh, if, if I'm tripping as an adult, I could only imagine. This is the example of being true to yourself and really sticking to your guns besides all the naysayers, all the so-called experts. At the end of the day, if you're real and true, you'll be happy like this man. Super joined us back. Go back and discover that amazing discography. Also the bootlegs. You'll be coming up with some new material soon. Hello. And you've been very creative with your other projects. I want to thank you, Percy, for that. No, thank you, brother. Man, it, you know, kind of goes both ways, don't it? You know, you know, without... That, that's no joke right there, too, by the way. Yeah, fucking... Uh, Bump in the road. Don't even don't even worry about it. If you knew how many times I had my skeleton rearranged with different fucking <laughs> mechanisms and metals and this and that, uh, it'd be like a whole book in itself. But either way, uh, making music is is a, a privilege, and to still be hungry and to still want. Mm. I don't think there's a better feeling in the world. You you can't chase that high. That's mm. that's really what's worth living when you have that hunger. I do have that hunger. I do, and I'm fucking. Uh, you know, I'm closer to fucking fifty than I am forty. And uh, for me, it just keeps getting heavier and heavier and heavier you know i know some people in the past have gotten older and mellowed with time but i refuse <laughs> unless i tell you hey here's a trippy mellow song for you that i just happen to write you know it'll be like a whoa you know what a trip you know but then uh you know i could easily say but the week after I wrote this, listen to this, and it <laughs> blows your fucking speakers up. You know, no four four time at all. It's like, wait a minute, where is this going? So that is the beauty of music, man. You can do anything in this fucking world you want with it. You ain't got to play by the rules. You ain't got to listen to your best friend. You ain't got to listen to goddamn nobody except for what's in here. Share it, teach it, collect your strongest fucking musicians possible and play your fucking hearts out, man. And and, and and to me, you're living life. What better words? We're going to end it with that. Phil Ensemble, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Bless you, brother. Buy vinyl. Buy vinyl. Hell. Yeah.